everyone, this is Teacher Juvie and I will be your guide for today's lesson. Let us read and analyze the problem. A 3 fourth meter lumber is to be cut into pieces. Bum helps his father cutting it into one half meter long. How many pieces can he cut from the lumber? We can analyze the problem by answering the following questions. So what is asked in the problem? How many pieces can he cut from the lumber? What are the given facts? The given facts are 3 fourth meter and 1 half meter. Then what is the operation to be used? We're going to use division of fraction. What is the number sentence? So the number sentence is 3 fourth divided by 1 half is equal to n. What is the solution and what will be the answer? So let us solve for the solution to this problem. Before we proceed to our solution, here are the steps in dividing simple fractions. Step 1, we change the divisor to its reciprocal. Step 2, we change the division sign into multiplication sign. Step 3, multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. And step 4, we're going to express our answer in lowest term if possible. Okay, so applying the first step, which is changing the divisor to its reciprocal, from the given number sentence, we have 3 fourths divided by 1 half is equal to n. So from this uh, expression or number sentence, the divisor is 1 half. So we're going to get the reciprocal of 1 half. So ang gagawin nyo lang, babalik na rin nyo lang yung 1 half. Yung numerator magiging denominator and yung denominator naman is magiging numerator. So 1 half will become Give the quotient of 6 over 4 and 3 over 9. So applying the first step, we're going to change the divisor to its reciprocal. So our number sentence is 6 over 4 divided by 3 over 9 equals n. Okay, so 
get the uh, the reciprocal of the divisor. So, ang ating divisor is 3 over 9. Kunin natin ang reciprocal ng 3 over 9. So, ito ay 9 over 3. Okay, next step is we change the division sign into multiplication sign. So, again, papalitan natin yung division sign sa multiplication sign na siya. And we can now proceed on multiplying simple fractions or simply apply the cancellation method. Again, sa pagka-cancel, pwede tayong mag-cancel ng taas or baba, taas, baba, and left to right. So, from this example, pwede nating i-cancel ang 6 and 4 dahil ang 6 at 4 ay divisible by 2. So, 6 divided by 2 is 3 and 4 divided by 2 is 2. Pwede rin natin i-cancel ang 9 and 3 dahil ang 9 na 3 ay divisible by 3. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3 and 3 divided by 3 is 1. Okay, so, ano pa ang pwede natin i-cancel? So, wala na. Hindi natin pwede i-cancel ang 3 at 3 dahil magkatapat sila. Okay, i-multiply na natin yung mga natirang numbers. So, we multiply 3 times 3 and 2 times 1. So, 3 times 3 is 9. And 2 times 1 is 2. So, ang ating answer is 9 over 2. Okay, ang ating nakuhang sagot is an improper fraction. So, the fourth step is we have to express our answer in lowest term. Again, improper fraction ang ating sagot. So, para ma-express natin siya sa lowest term, we're going to change this improper fraction to mixed number. Paano? We will just simply divide the numerator by the denominator. So, i-divide natin ang 9 by 2 and we can get 4 and a half. Thanks for watching this video. Hit like if you learned from this video and don't forget to subscribe on my channel. Thank you so much.